Father, we just thank you for the tremendous privilege that we have to come before you on behalf of your chosen ones. Lord, we thank you so much for your grace that you extended to us the, uh, the right to be your children, to be grafted into Israel. But God, we cry out to you on this day, uh, and on behalf of the, the, the past three weeks, as Randy was saying too, that uh, we know that the enemy doesn't slumber or sleep. You don't either. But God, we thank you that you defeated Satan and all of his hosts that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords, that every knee must bow before you in heaven and earth and under the earth and must confess Yeshua that you are Yahweh to the glory of God the Father. And so in the name of Jesus, armed with your armor, Jesus, we thank you that we're going to just right now, I'm going to just for those who haven't put on your armor today, <clears throat> we'll just claim, Lord Jesus, that you are our truth. You are our righteousness. You have shot us on our feet with preparation for the gospel of peace. You are our shield of faith, extinguishing every fiery missile of the enemy. You are our helmet of salvation. Lord, did, we, we, we invite you to inhabit us, to that your thoughts would be our thoughts, and your ways our ways, and that you would shield us from every extraneous thought that is not of you. <clears throat> we thank you that you are the, we have the sword of the spirit, which is the rhema word of God. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. And now that we can lift up these cries to you and ask that you would send your tsebo, your angels, your fiery warring hosts into that second heaven, Lord, to cut off every plan, plot uh, of the enemy yes. against Israel, against your body. God, uh, and the rulers, the powers, the principalities, the world forces of darkness, the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places, Lord, just go in and confuse, pit them against themselves. Lord, the, the spirits that are called the strong men and they're under demons, the spirits of antichrist, the spirits of bondage, the spirits of divination and death and deaf and dumb spirits, error, Fear, familiar spirits, heaviness, infirmity, lying, jealousy, proud, perverse, seductive, and whoredom spirits, and all their agents on the earth, all their under demons, all their watchers. Lord, we just ask that you send angels into all of these camps, cut off all communication. Once again, put con uh, confusion in the enemy camp. Lord, that no weapon formed against Israel will prosper. Every word spoken against her, every plan smeated against her in judgment, we cast down in the name of Jesus. God, and we not only ask for this, but we ask that you remove the veil. You remove the veil from Israel, God. That, that this would be the time that their hearts would be decrusted that their eyes would be open, their ears uncorked. God, that they can receive, they can receive Yeshua. They can receive the revelation of Mashiach. That, God, that you would uh, quicken the word in their hearts. Lord, that it wouldn't be a dead uh, knowledge, God, but it would be living, that your living spirit the rivers of living water would start flowing up out of the word that has been activated in their hearts, that they truly can come into that knowledge and uh, living relationship with you. God, I uplift for all of us Benjamin Netanyahu. Yes. Oh, Lord Jesus, would you, would you bring him into your kingdom? Thank you for the influence of those around him, Lord. Uh, for Michael Evans and those who minister to him. Yes. But God, we ask, we ask that you would break the bondages of Freemasonry off of him yes. in Jesus' name. Um, and every spirit accompanying that, Lord, the whole host of them, and that you would free him into the knowledge of you, along with the Knesset members, along with rabbis, Lord. And, and Lord, you just recently quickened me to pray for the children of Israel. We, we ask for the children of Israel, Lord, that you would download dreams and visions and 
knowledge of you, God, that these little ones who are or coming to their parents and saying that they, they've seen Yeshua and he's real and they're operating in signs, wonders, and miracles could not be denied, Lord, because they haven't been corrupted by anyone, but they, they've entered into that which you prepared for them. Lord, release those dreams and visions now, God. Release them. God, we praise you. We bless you. We praise you. bless you. And Lord, uh, we, ask, we ask for the nations around Israel. I know, you just gave me this morning that there is a spirit of jealousy, which is such a powerful uh, spirit, God. And so we come against that spirit of jealousy and, and the accompanying spirits that make that stronghold so hard to break, Lord. Uh, the spirits of the victim spirit and, and infirmity and death and confusion and mental illness and poverty and Freemasonry. God, we just ask that you send your angels into those camps and sever every root and fruit according to Amos 2.9. And generationally, God, that you would just go through your blood and cleanse the bloodlines that this stronghold would be broken off of Israel and that she would come out of her death shroud, Lord, uh, into the newness of life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you and we bless you. And God, we ask that you would send your light into these nations. Your will is not that anyone should perish, not even evil people, but that all come to light in you. So God, at the same time, would you just extend your grace and mercy to the Muslims, to the, to the Palestinians, Lord, to those who are in darkness, those who are crying out for meaning and purpose in life, those who are crying out for hope. God, would you meet them at the same time uh, and answer these prayers for them too. And God, we pray for our nation. We pray, we know, we thank you that you have moved uh, President Obama's heart as you've moved the hearts of kings like rivers of water wherever you will for this, uh, for this reprieve and uh, what is extended to Israel. God, but we just ask that it would just be, a, that you would have mercy on him, God, and just the darkness of his heart and the, the bondages would be removed and that you would reveal yourself to him too and those around him, God. That you would just blast out all the demonic, God, and allow them to come into the light of the glorious light of Jesus Christ. God, and we pray for your body too, God. Our world, the situation is in, we're, we're it's the way it is because of your body, God. It's just a reflection. Our nation is a reflection of the church. So, God, have mercy. Would you cleanse us? Would you grant us repentance? Would you open the eyes of our hearts that we know what is the hope of our calling? What are the riches of your glory, of your inheritance in the saints, and the surpassing greatness of your power towards those who believe? God, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us and free us into the calling and the salvation that you... Uh, so lavished on us and paid such a, a heinous price, God, uh, at, our, at your expense that we might know you, your love, your power, your salvation, that we could be instruments of, of yours to the lost and dying world. We praise you and we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. Hallelujah, that was wonderful. Uh, we are, uh, we have, we are in the process of inviting the uh, Israeli ambassador to the United States to Austin, uh, to UT, and uh, it's quite a process. So uh, I didn't get that on the list, but that's another thing to hold in prayer. Uh, I met him uh, a couple months ago back in DC, and uh, so uh, have a bit of a contact there. But I'd really love for Austin to bless Israel and to receive uh, this ambassador and. Uh, uh, UT is the spot that he's willing to come to, uh, to address the college, whatever amount that might be. So anyway, that could be a total wreck or it could be really good. So, so, uh, so there's a definite point of prayer. As the details come in, I'll give you some more information on it. But I'm working with uh, Caleb Ingalls, the young man that uh, actually I met here, and he's trying to help coordinate a date and some time. So. Uh, anyway, we're working on that and uh, in touch with the uh, embassy in D.C. and uh, uh, just working to bless Israel and to have Austin bless Israel uh, openly uh, and receive their ambassador.